The air hung heavy with uncertainty as I stood in our once shared bedroom, surrounded by the echoes of a life that vanished two decades ago. David, my husband, had disappeared without a trace, leaving me and our five-year-old daughter, Jessica, alone. The room, once filled with laughter and shared dreams, now harbored only memories and the chilling absence of his presence. Mom, do you think Daddy will come back? Jessica's innocent question echoed through the emptiness, a question that had haunted our home for years. I turned to face her, my heart heavy with the weight of unspoken truths. I don't know, sweetheart, but we'll be okay. We always have been. Days turned into weeks and weeks into years. The routine of a single parent became my reality, but the unanswered questions lingered. The phone calls to his workplace, the visits to his favorite spots, everything led to a dead end. David had vanished, leaving behind a void that seemed impossible to fill. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across our small living room, Jessica spoke up again. Mom, why did Daddy leave us? I sighed, the pain of his disappearance still fresh after all these years. I don't know, sweetheart. Sometimes people have to go away for reasons we can't understand, but we have each other, and that's what matters. As the years passed, our lives became a tapestry woven with the threads of resilience and shared strength. Yet, the question of David's disappearance lingered in the background, an unsolved puzzle that loomed over our happiness. One night, as Jessica, now a young woman, prepared for her own journey into matrimony, the past resurfaced with unexpected force. The phone rang, and I hesitated before answering, the caller ID displaying a long-forgotten name. Anne. A voice crackled through the line, stirring memories that had long been buried. It's about David. The words hung in the air, leaving an unsettling anticipation. The voice on the other end held a secret, one that would unravel the mystery of David's vanishing act and set the stage for the shocking revelations that awaited us in the chapters to come. The eve of Jessica's wedding brought with it a palpable mix of excitement and nostalgia. The house buzzed with activity as the preparations for the celebration unfolded. Amid the laughter and joy, I found myself drawn to the dusty boxes stowed away in the corner, the forgotten archives of a life that once was. Mom, look at this one, Jessica called out, holding up a weathered photo album. The pictures inside captured moments frozen in time, a testament to the happiness we once shared. I joined her on the living room floor, the scent of aged paper wafting through the air. Those were the good old days, weren't they? Jessica nodded, her eyes sparkling with a blend of sentimentality and anticipation. I wish Dad could be here to see me in my wedding dress. As we turned the pages, the images told a story of love and laughter. But nestled among the cherished memories, a photograph emerged that would shatter the illusion of our idyllic past. In it, David stood with a woman named Lauren, their smiles masking a hidden connection that now unraveled before our eyes. Mom, who's this? Jessica's voice wavered, her finger pointing at Lauren in the photograph. A knot tightened in my stomach as I hesitated, grappling with the truth that had eluded us for so long. That's Lauren. She was a friend of your father's. Her brow furrowed. Jessica continued to study the photo. She seems more than just a friend. I sighed, the weight of the revelation settling in. There's more to this story than we knew, Jess. We need to talk. As the sun dipped below the horizon, we sat on the porch, the soft glow of fairy lights casting shadows on our faces. The cool breeze carried with it a tension of unspoken truths. Why didn't Dad ever mention her? Jessica asked, her eyes searching mine for answers. I don't know, sweetheart, but we're going to find out together, I replied, 
determination coloring my words. The discovery of David's affair with Lauren loomed over us, casting a shadow on the eve of Jessica's wedding. The air crackled with anticipation, and the unraveling secrets hinted at a tumultuous journey ahead, one that would force us to confront the demons of the past and navigate the complexities of love and betrayal. The revelation of David's affair with Lauren had cast a pall over the upcoming wedding, and the once joyful preparations now carried the weight of unwelcome truths. The air in the house felt charged as Jessica and I delved deeper into the photo album, each page unraveling a layer of the past. Amidst the captured moments of happiness, a series of pictures chronicled the intrusion of Lauren into our lives. There she was, standing beside David in wedding photographs, her presence more than just that of a guest. In each image, her overly affectionate gestures towards David were impossible to ignore, a stark contrast to the smiles and laughter that surrounded them. Mom, look at this one, Jessica exclaimed, pointing to a photo where Lauren leaned on David, her hand resting familiarly on his shoulder. That's not just a friend. What was Dad thinking? I sighed, grappling with the discomfort of revisiting these memories. It seems like there was more to their relationship than we knew. Your father never spoke about it, and I never understood why. As we continued to sift through the photographs, a distinct unease settled in the room. The happiness that had once radiated from those images was now tainted by the realization that our family had been infiltrated by an unwanted presence. Why would Dad allow her to act like that? And why didn't he say anything? Jessica's voice trembled with a mix of confusion and frustration. I shook my head, my own confusion mirroring hers. I wish I had answers, Jess. We need to confront this head-on, for our sake and for the truth. The following evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, we gathered in the living room, the weight of the revelations hanging in the air. The phone call from Lauren, the intrusion into our family, and the unresolved questions fueled a tension that lingered like an unspoken storm. I can't believe Dad never mentioned her, Jessica mused, her eyes fixed on the photographs spread before us. He kept a lot of things from us, Jess. But we'll get to the bottom of this, I reassured her, determined to unveil the secrets that had been buried for far too long. The unwanted intrusion of Lauren into our family had become a poignant chapter in our history, one that demanded answers and resolution. As we prepared to confront the past, the anticipation of what lay ahead hung in the air, setting the stage for a confrontation that would shape the course of our lives. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the living room, Jessica and I found ourselves revisiting the past, a past marred by the unwelcome intrusion of Lauren. The photographs served as both witnesses and accomplices to the echoes of a time when our family was disrupted by unspoken secrets. Mom, I remember her, Jessica whispered, her eyes fixed on a particular photo. Lauren used to visit us, didn't she? A chill ran down my spine as I took in her words. Visit us? What do you mean, Jess? She leaned in closer to the photographs, her finger tracing the image of Lauren. I remember her being around when I was little, around the time Dad disappeared. She came over to play and took care of me when you weren't at home. My heart skipped a beat, the implications of Jessica's revelation sinking in. What? Why didn't you tell me about this before? I thought it was normal. I was just a kid, Mom. Jessica replied, her voice tinged with a mix of confusion and guilt. She seemed nice back then. The room felt stifling as the weight of the past bore down on us. Memories long buried resurfaced, painting a picture of a time when our family was a canvas marked by the uninvited presence of Lauren. Did Dad know she was coming over? I asked, my mind racing to make sense of the sudden influx of information. I think so. She mentioned he invited her, Jessica replied, her brow furrowed in thought. 
the revelation sent shockwaves through my already fragile understanding of our history. David, the man I thought I knew, had kept not only an affair but also the presence of Lauren in our home hidden from me. The following day, as we prepared for Jessica's wedding, a sense of unease lingered in the air. The photographs, once cherished memories, now held a sinister undertone, each frame concealing the truth we had been shielded from for far too long. I can't believe Dad never mentioned her visits, I mused, a mixture of sadness and anger coloring my words. Jessica, now more aware of the implications, added, and she was there when he disappeared. Mom, something doesn't add up. As the echoes of the past reverberated through our conversation, the stage was set for a confrontation with the uncomfortable truths that lay buried beneath the surface. The journey into the heart of our shared history had just begun, and the path ahead promised revelations that would reshape our understanding of family and the love that had been tainted by betrayal. The days leading up to Jessica's wedding were tainted by the unsettling discoveries of our family's hidden past. As we delved deeper into the disturbing revelations, each piece of the puzzle unearthed painted a picture darker and more complex than we could have imagined. Mom, we need to find out the truth, Jessica asserted, determination flashing in her eyes as we sat in the living room, surrounded by the weight of unanswered questions. The photographs, once nostalgic reminders of happier times, now served as a haunting record of David's betrayal and Lauren's intrusion. The room echoed with the tension of unspoken words as we revisited the past, determined to unveil the disturbing secrets that had long eluded us. With newfound resolve, we decided to conduct our own investigation into David's disappearance and the entanglement with Lauren. The dusty boxes in the attic revealed forgotten letters, hidden messages, and a series of unexplained absences documented in journals and diaries. I had no idea he was leading a double life, I confessed, my voice tinged with a mix of disbelief and sorrow. Jessica, equally stunned, replied, how could he keep this from us for so long? And who is Lauren, really? As we calmed through the evidence, the unsettling truth began to take shape. David's unexplained absences coincided with Lauren's visits, painting a picture of a clandestine relationship that had flourished in the shadows of our seemingly happy home. He was living a lie, I murmured, grappling with the weight of the revelation. But why? And why didn't he come back? Jessica, her brow furrowed in contemplation, added, maybe it's time we confront him and demand answers. The decision to confront David and Lauren hung in the air, a daunting task that promised both closure and the potential for more painful revelations. The impending legal pursuit for compensation added a layer of complexity to our already tumultuous journey as we prepared to confront the shadows of the past that had haunted our family for two decades. The chapter of disturbing discoveries had unfolded, leaving us on the brink of a revelation that would reshape our understanding of love, betrayal, and the intricate web of secrets that had ensnared our family. As the wedding day loomed closer, the disturbing truths we had uncovered set the stage for a confrontation that would determine the trajectory of our lives. The weight of our discoveries pressed heavily on us as Jessica, and I made the difficult decision to confront the shadows of our past. The realization that David had led a double life, with Lauren at the center of it all, fueled our determination to seek the truth and confront the unanswered questions that had haunted us for so long. Mom, we can't let them get away with this. We deserve answers, Jessica declared, her eyes reflecting the fire of determination as we sat in the dimly lit living room. With conviction in our hearts, we reached out to David and Lauren, arranging a meeting that would force them to face the consequences of their actions. The air in the room crackled with tension as we prepared to delve into the heart of the lies that had torn our family apart. The meeting took place in a quiet café, the atmosphere heavy with the weight of unspoken words. David's eyes met mine, 
a mixture of guilt and avoidance evident in his gaze. Why, David? Why did you leave without a word? I questioned, my voice trembling with a mix of anger and hurt. He sighed, avoiding eye contact. Anne, I... I didn't know how to face you. I messed up, and I thought it was best for everyone if I just disappeared. Jessica, her patience wearing thin, interjected, and who is Lauren, Dad? What's the real story? David hesitated before speaking. Lauren was an old friend. I invited her to our wedding without realizing the impact it would have. But things got complicated, and I didn't know how to extricate myself from the mess. I scoffed, my frustration bubbling to the surface. Complicated? You left us, David. For her? Lauren, sitting quietly beside him, finally spoke, I never meant for any of this to happen. I cared about David, and I thought he cared about me. Jessica, her voice laced with bitterness, retorted, Cared about you? You ruined our family. Do you even understand the pain you caused? The confrontation escalated, emotions pouring out as accusations were curled across the table. The cafe became a battleground for the grievances of a family torn apart by deceit. Amidst the chaos, David's attempt at an apology fell on deaf ears. The wounds of abandonment and betrayal ran too deep, and the confrontation left us all grappling with the harsh reality of the shattered family we once were. As we left the café, the unresolved tension lingered in the air, setting the stage for the legal pursuit of compensation and the inevitable unraveling of the complex web of lies that had entangled our lives. The shadows of our past confronted, the path ahead promised both closure and the potential for more painful revelations. The echoes of our confrontation with David and Lauren still reverberated when Jessica and I decided to pursue justice through legal means. The betrayal, lies, and the years of anguish had left scars too deep to heal without accountability. In a dimly lit law office, we sat across from an attorney, laying out the intricate web of deceit that David and Lauren had woven. The legal pursuit for compensation became a beacon of hope in our journey toward closure. The attorney, a stern-faced woman with an air of professionalism, listened intently as I recounted the years of struggle and the emotional toll their actions had taken. We'll build a case based on the evidence we have, and we'll make sure they are held accountable, she assured us. As the legal proceedings unfolded, David and Lauren were served with notices, and the courtroom became the battleground for the culmination of years of pain and betrayal. During a tense court session, David attempted to justify his actions, pleading, I made mistakes, but I don't have the means to pay such a large sum. Please, have mercy. The attorney, unyielding in her pursuit of justice, responded, Mercy is what you should have shown to your family when you abandoned them. Now it's time to face the consequences. Lauren, her face etched with remorse, added, I never meant for it to go this far. I'm sorry for the pain I caused. But Jessica, unfazed by their apologies, retorted, Sorry isn't enough. You both destroyed our family. Now you'll have to face the consequences of your actions. The legal battle was fierce, emotions running high as the courtroom became the arena where the truth unfolded. Photographs, diaries, and a trail of evidence painted a vivid picture of the lies and deception that had fractured our lives. As the judge delivered the verdict, ordering both David and Lauren to pay $330,000 each in compensation, a mix of relief and vindication washed over us. The legal pursuit had provided the closure we sought, a validation of the pain we had endured. Outside the courtroom, as we absorbed the reality of the judgment, Jessica spoke, her voice carrying a mix of triumph and sadness. It's not about the money. It's about them taking responsibility for what they did. The legal pursuit marked a pivotal chapter in our journey, a chapter that held both the weight of justice served and the lingering shadows of a family forever altered by betrayal. As we stepped out into the uncertain aftermath, 
The path ahead promised the beginning of a new chapter, one where healing and closure could finally take root. With the legal battle behind us, Jessica and I faced the daunting task of letting go, letting go of the pain, the anger, and the shadows that had cast their pall over our lives for so long. The courtroom victory had brought a semblance of closure, but the emotional scars lingered, demanding a different kind of resolution. In the quiet confines of our home, I gathered the remnants of a life shared with David, photographs, mementos, and the heavy burden of memories. Jessica, sensing the weight of the moment, joined me in the solemn task of sifting through the remnants of a fractured past. Mom, are you okay? Jessica asked, her concern evident in her eyes. I nodded, a mixture of emotions swirling within me. It's time to let go, Jess. Let go of the pain, the betrayal, and the expectations we had for the family we thought we were. As we packed away the artifacts of a bygone era, each item became a symbol of both joy and heartache. The wedding photos, once cherished, were now tinged with the bittersweet reality of broken promises. Jessica, holding a faded picture of us as a family, sighed, I wish things could have been different. I placed a comforting hand on her shoulder. We can't change the past, sweetheart, but we can shape our future. Letting go doesn't mean forgetting. It means making room for new beginnings. In the days that followed, the house underwent a transformation. Walls once adorned with photographs became blank canvases, ready to be filled with new memories. The weight of David's presence lifted as we relinquished the whole of the past. One evening, as we sat on the porch watching the sun dip below the horizon, Jessica spoke, her voice filled with a newfound sense of hope. Mom, I think letting go was the right choice. I feel lighter. I smiled, grateful for the resilience my daughter had shown throughout our tumultuous journey. We've been through a lot, Jess, but we're stronger for it. The future is ours to shape. The echoes of our laughter filled the air, a testament to the healing that had begun. The scars of the past, though not forgotten, became a part of our story rather than the defining chapters. As we moved forward, the path ahead held the promise of joy, growth, and the restoration of a family that had weathered the storms. Letting go became the key to unlocking the door to a future unburdened by the shadows of yesterday, a future where the echoes of laughter drowned out the echoes of betrayal. In the aftermath of letting go, our home became a sanctuary of healing and renewal. The blank canvases that adorned the walls hinted at the promise of a fresh start, a chapter unmarked by the shadows of betrayal. As gratitude and new beginnings became the guiding principles of our lives, Jessica and I embraced the chance to redefine happiness on our terms. One sunny afternoon, we sat in the living room, surrounded by the warmth of shared laughter and the gentle hum of a home reborn. Jessica, with a glint of optimism in her eyes, remarked, Mom, I never thought we'd find joy after all that happened. I nodded, savoring the newfound lightness in our hearts. Life has a remarkable way of surprising us. We faced the storm, and now it's time to appreciate the sunshine. Our days were filled with simple pleasures, a shared meal, a walk in the neighborhood, and the comforting routine of everyday life. The wounds of the past had not vanished entirely, but they had transformed into a source of strength, a testament to our resilience. One evening, as we gathered on the porch to witness the colors of a sunset, Jessica spoke, I'm grateful, Mom. Grateful for the love we still have and the chance to build something beautiful from the ruins. I smiled, acknowledging the depth of her words. Gratitude is a powerful force. It reminds us of the strength within us, even in the face of adversity. The doorbell rang, interrupting our conversation, and to our surprise, it was Jessica's husband, a warm smile on his face. I thought you two might be missing some company, he said. As we shared stories and laughter, 
the significance of family chosen and born into became more apparent. The scars of the past had become a backdrop against which the canvas of our future unfolded. In the days that followed, we began to explore new possibilities, embracing opportunities that once seemed out of reach. Jessica, now with a determination to live life fully, remarked, Mom, I think it's time for us to create our own narrative, one that isn't defined by the past. I agreed, grateful for the resilience that had brought us to this point. New beginnings are a gift. Let's cherish each moment and write our own story. As the seasons changed, so did our lives. Gratitude became the foundation upon which we built a future filled with hope, love, and the anticipation of countless possibilities. The journey from betrayal to renewal had transformed us, and as we faced the horizon of new beginnings, the echoes of gratitude filled our hearts, guiding us toward a future unburdened by the shadows of yesterday.